Onchip has a predetermined color palette as parts are created within a part studio. The appearance of these parts can be changed based on color coordination, color scheme, or any other necessary color change that needs to be made to parts. In this video, we're going to cover changing the appearance of parts using the appearance dialog. In a part studio, select the part or parts you want to change the appearance. Right click the selection and select edit appearance. This opens the appearance dialog with access to the standard color palette and the color mixer. Under the palette tab, select one of the many default color options available, or select the mixer tab and choose the color from the RGB slider on the right and the shade of the color on the left. Either option automatically applies the color to the selected part or parts to preview. Below the palette or mixer is a preview of the selected color. To the right is the part transparency slider. Use the slider to control the transparency. Slide it to the left to make the part more transparent and to the right to make the part more opaque. You can also input a value between 0 and 1 to control the transparency level. Below the transparency slider and preview is the opportunity to input a hex value or RGB values. Use these options if you have an exact color you would like to make the part. When you have a color specification you want to save, click the plus sign under custom colors. If any custom colors are saved, they are now available in any existing document. To remove a color, right click the color and select delete. To update a custom color, right click on the saved custom color you want to update and select update color. The last option available is adjusting the tessellation quality of the part. The tessellation quality determines how many triangles are being rendered in the graphics area, or essentially how nice the model looks. The default option is auto, which chooses a balance between performance and quality. Other options include coarse, medium, fine, and very fine. Note that when choosing a finer tessellation quality, the performance of the document may be impacted until the tessellation is completed. This only changes the tessellation quality in the part studio. You may also adjust the tessellation quality of a part in an assembly by right-clicking on it in the instance list and choosing Use Best Available Tessellation. A diamond icon displays next to the instances that are using this tessellation quality. To reset it back to the Auto option, right-click on an instance again and select the Use Automatic Tessellation setting. You can keep track of all the appearance changes, including those of faces, using the Appearance Flyout located on the right of the graphics area. Click on the Appearance Flyout tab to open it. The list shows all existing parts and services within the Part Studio. You can edit appearances by double-clicking on a specific part or right-clicking and select Edit Appearance. The icon in the top right allows you to make changes to face appearances. Face colors are discussed in detail in a face colors video.